Hello everyone, welcome to another sketchbook tour. This is my sketchbook from February to August 2019. This is actually a customized sketchbook that's made by SPD. I passed them some 100% cotton watercolor paper that's made by Indigo Art Papers and have them bound into this customized sketchbook. So if you happen to be in Singapore and you want to make a good sketchbook, you can actually contact them. If you are overseas, just note that the shipping from Singapore is going to be very expensive and sketchbooks, they are quite heavy. So this sketchbook is actually a sketchbook that I have used to create the drawing tutorials for my YouTube channel. So many of these sketches that you are about to see, they are actually from the drawing tutorials and the limited color palette series of videos. So this is the first sketch drawn in February 2019. I was trying out the Derwent line maker the lines the colors they are not opaque uh, which was unexpected but the sketch itself turned out pretty well and i really like this watercolor paper that's made by indigo art papers it's handmade 100 percent cotton watercolor paper and the um, white of the paper it's it's, I would say, bright white, so it really shows off the colors very well. And if you want to test colors, test mixtures on this paper, the colors will reproduce very beautifully, very vibrantly. So this is one of the drawing tutorial sketches. By the way, if you want to watch the drawing tutorials, I have a YouTube playlist full of them. Just um, check out the link in the video description below. I remember drawing this with a very thin pen, uh, the Namiki Falcon, if I remember correctly. This was drawn to test out the Posca markers that I have bought recently. Those are opaque markers and they work very well. These are the Mayan colors from Daniel Smith. I like, I really like Mayan red. I love the granulation. It's difficult to find granulating red, so this color it looks really nice. And we have Mayan Violet on the side here, which also has some granulation. This paper is quite thick, it's 300 GSM and it's really very thick. So when you're painting on it, it doesn't buckle that much. This is, I think, another drawing tutorial. All these sketches, they were drawn with the help of reference photos. So they are, they were not drawn on location. For many of these sketches, I just wanted to test the color combination, the limited color palette. This was also drawn with a reference photo, drawn with a very thin, um, drawn with a pen with a very thin line. This was drawn for the video that compares high versus low tinting strength. And here are some people's sketches that uh, were not drawn that well, so I left the page sort of blank. And on the left side, we have some colors that have low tinting strength, and on the right side, we have the really vibrant saturated colors. And here, I cannot remember why I painted these um, color blends. I think it's to test out the granulating reds, yep, and the granulating blues here. More color swatches. These are some sketches of the bridges along Singapore River. So these were not drawn on location. I did some location sketches for the bridges, but I felt that some of them needed some rework. So I drew them again uh, here in this sketchbook. And also I wanted to create some tutorials for my patrons. By the way, I have a patron page that has even more drawing tutorials. Patreon is a monthly subscription service where you can pledge a certain dollar amount to support the artists uh, that you like. So for my patrons, they get to watch the full, full length tutorials that I create for them. 
I like this sketch because of the colors and the colors here that I've used are Schmincker Pure Yellow, Magenta and Cobalt Blue Deep. Um, Schmincker, they make really high quality watercolor and this particular limited color palette works so well. I really love the orange and just how the blues, the texture complements the non-textured area. I really like this sketch. This was drawn on the 27th of June. This was created for a drawing tutorial. This wasn't drawn that well because the size, the proportion of the people, um, especially for this guy here, the head is a bit too small. So when it comes to drawing figures, human figures, uh, if you get the proportion a bit off, people are going to notice. So here it's a bit off and here it's also a bit off. The head is a bit small. This was drawn with my left hand and I'm actually quite pleased with this, with the sketch and also with the coloring. The watercolor turned out really well and the texture on this paper is really beautiful. This is one of the old buildings in Amsterdam. I think from the 15th century, so it's really old. And this was drawn on the 12th of August from a reference photo as well. This was drawn with pen and ink, uh, colored with watercolor, and then layered on with Posca markers to draw the lines because it's very difficult to draw those lines with watercolor. More color swatch tests. This is for a limited color palette video as well. This is also drawn with the help of a reference photo. This is a scene from Amsterdam. And the colors that I've used here, um, they were Core Nico Iso Yellow, Queen of Crowdon Magenta, Ultramarine Blue. This is a nice combination, a very nice versatile combination um, because they are transparent it's easy to mix with them and because they are transparent it's great to use them for pen and ink sketches like this more color swatch test this is to test the uh, aquazo binder versus traditional gum arabic binder because core watercolor they use aquazo binder which is unique to them and when you test the uh, uh, wet, when you use wet on wet techniques with core watercolor, the colors they bloom, they spread really quickly. Uh, but for blending colors, not really a lot of difference between Aquazo and uh, Gum Arabic. But for wet on wet, when you dab the color on paper, it will just spread very quickly, it sort of like explodes out. And some people may find that a bit difficult to control, which is. Um, which is true. I find it a bit difficult to control as well because when color spreads uh, so quickly, you need to sort of control it to create an even blend. These are swatches from Jackson Art Watercolors. So these are just 12 of the many watercolor tubes that I have um, tried. I have a full detailed review for this and just to give you the short review, these are very affordable, high quality artist paint but um, you do need to use a lot more paint to get the intensity. This is another limited color palette sketch. For this sketch, I use Turner's Yellow, Geranium Red and Delft Blue. And because this color is opaque, Turner's Yellow is semi-opaque, it's very difficult to mix with other colors and the mixture becomes muddy very quickly. Anyway, you will uh, find out what I mean by that by watching the video for this sketch. Some limited color palette work well, some do not. Those with opaque or semi-opaque paint, they usually don't work as well when it comes to mixing because those paint, they are usually used for painting on top of other colors um, to use to cover um, certain areas. So this is the last sketch in this sketchbook. I'm going to leave this page blank. Overall, I'm quite pleased with the sketches that were all drawn 
in the comfort of my home and I'm very satisfied with the quality of this watercolor paper from Indigo Art Papers. It's really uh, good watercolor paper for watercolor uh, work. I'll put the link in the video description below to where you can find a watercolor paper. Um, these uh, papers, they are sold in loose sheets, not in a sketchbook like this, by the way. But I would say it's really worth the money. All right, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.